Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to make the best time lapses possible. If you guys do like these type of videos where I show you guys photography tips and things to actually help you step up your photography and filmmaking game, be sure to subscribe and like the video. Otherwise, let's get straight to it. So something I've learned is something that you really need to help out your time-lapse game is to get an intervalometer. And I've learned that even though I don't have one. And well, I think that just sort of shows you. Anyways, you, something that you can do is if you guys have a normal DSLR like a camera, you wanna get an intervalometer and connect it to your camera. And basically what that is, is it takes pictures on a timer. It'll just keep on taking pictures without you actually having to get up and take the picture every three seconds. Now your your camera, if you have a newer one, your, it probably does have a built-in time-lapse mode. But the problem is, is that even though it takes pictures, it's not like, it's 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 hard to go back into editing and stuff like that and actually um, transform it back to pictures so you can edit the pictures and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to change it. If you guys are using the onboard time-lapse mode, I'm gonna show you guys how to change it back to the pictures and, um, and then we're gonna edit them. So yeah, and here's the time-lapse. So, okay, so here's the time-lapse that we're gonna be editing. And here's the final product. Now I'm going to show you guys how to get something amazing just like that. So first thing you want to do is, I'm just going to tell you right now, which is you want to put your camera on a tripod or if you have a gorilla pod like what I'm using right now. Um, you want If you have a gorilla pod, you can put it up on gates, walls, uh, you can hang it upside down. Get cool angles, you know? Use the use what it's meant for. Get some cool angles. Get you know just eh, like you know just get that oomph in that oomph. <laughs> um, you know, and if you have a tripod, that's fine. Angle it properly and get your shot. Start it and um, yeah. So and uh, get the time lapse mode on your camera and start it and then record your time lapse. Now, I like to preferably do a time lapse in a busy area where there's actually things that you could tell it's a time lapse and I have struggles doing that for reasons. Alright, so first things first is over here we, we're on my desktop, this is what I'm using to record the screen. Um, you want to find your video. So this is the time lapse, now it's not the best, um, I did this last. Okay, here it is. So it, it wasn't the best. It wasn't even focused properly. As you can see, the trees and stuff were really blurry and dull and everything was really blurry and dull. Um, but you know, you got something good. So here's the time. This is it. This is the time lapse. And all right. So now we you're just gonna... So what I did to turn the time lapse into each frame is I downloaded some program I found off the internet. You can really use any, if I'm honest with you. Um, so, and it turned it all into pictures. So, yeah. <laughs> so, it turned it all into pictures. So, here's, this is, this is the time lapse with each frame. Um, and here we have it in Lightroom. So, you can take the first picture, you know, if you want, you can natural, bright, you can mess around with the presets. I'm sure most people who have Lightroom have a bunch of downloaded presets. I do specifically because I like to mess around with the presets and just sort of I, I take it as a way to learn, sort of, with the presets to see what I can do and look at the settings that the preset has and then try to copy them. I, you know, it's, it's a learning process. But you can just mess around with the presets if you want. I'm really, I like this one, it's sort of cool. That one's sort of cool. The orange and teal, that's Instagram right there. Now, just mess around with the presets. Um, and this should be all good. That's sort of cool. Okay, so, there. So, you know, if I didn't like what I had on the presets, I'm gonna make my own thing. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a graduated filter. I'm gonna put it over, sort of over the sky area. And, I'm, and I want the sky to be a bit more blue, all right? Not that blue, but a bit more blue. 
So I'm sort of looking for a teal color here, so I'm sort of mixing that. Alright, so that looks good. We're getting the sort of teal colors in. Um, I'm going to get the radial filter, and I'm going to get these trees, and I want to make them a bit brighter. So we're going to invert this, and we're going to make them a bit more green. Just going to make them a bit more brighter. You know, not that bright, but you know, brighter. So, you just sort of feather this out. It'll be feathered out. Do that. And sort of feather that just along the tree area. But I'm not going to do it right there because as you can see right up here, it's making the the what's it called? The 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 sky a little green tint, so we can't have that. So, I'm just going to put it around here. Shorten that up a bit. Okay. So I'm trying to brighten up the trees at the moment so that we give the trees a good green like sort of a good green like pop, you know? So I want to give the trees like a good green pop. I'm not really doing that. Um, let's expose it down a bit like that much. All right, so it looks like we did the trees pretty well. Um, so what I'm going to do is in my neighborhood, I have these lights and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to zoom in. Um, and I want to make it look like they're lit up because, you know, I like the lights. <laughs> I like the lights. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to invert that, right? And we have a yellow tint thing to it. And there we go. So now look, it looks like it's lit up. And I learned this a couple days ago. And if I'm honest, that it's really cool doing stuff like that. So use that to your advantage, really. Um, Turn the clarity, not really, I'm gonna do something like that. Well, no, like that. Turn the saturation up a bit if you want it to be a lot, sort of pop a little bit more. That looks really cool. So I could, I, I could just select this preset and then just be done with it. So I could do that, but it's all depending on what you want. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit the preset to mine, it's like how I would do it, and the example that you show is going to be a one with a preset on it, which is going to be different, but you know, whatever. Okay. I'm going to take the tone curves and I'm going to lift it up just a slight bit because I want it to be a bit brighter. And right here, which I love messing around with the color settings because you can get some really cool sort of effect things going on here. As if you see, look, I'm making, I'm trying to make it a little a bit more blue. We have the green, and we can we could totally just mess with the green as much as we want. We could totally dull out the green, so it could look like they're all dead, which is like mm, emo stuff. But no, I think I'm good. I think we're gonna go for that tint of green, make it a bit brighter. Let's go for the blues, and right here, this is where we can really experiment with the blues. So we're oh yeah, so we're gonna go for this goldish sort of color. And I, maybe I want to turn the reds up. Mess around with that. You mess with the purples. Looks like there's really no purples in this, but you do something like that. But let's see here. All right. So um, it's called. So now you can add highlights if you want, which is just honestly, if you want to go ahead, I'm not going to. I don't want to do highlights. Um, shadows, you totally mess with those if you want, but I'm not going to. Sharpening, sharpen it up a bit, because since this is a really blurry image, I'm, image, I might want to sharpen it actually, but let's put some noise reduction in. So it's sort of looking like that. It's it's honestly, in my opinion, looking pretty good. So uh, let's see. Put a sort of vignette, 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 vignetting. You do something like that. And maybe you want to crop it a bit, you know? Maybe you want to crop out the cars, you know? Maybe you want to get something like that. Or, Maybe you want to get out the cars and just get the lights and stuff. Something like that. So, there you guys go. We have it cropped. 
I'm not gonna sharpen it because it is just sort of just like whoa. Um, put a lot of grain in it, but no thanks. What happens if we I'm just sort of messing around with the grain at this point? Oh, that is ugly. No thanks. <laughs> um, and so there you go. So that's me editing it. And if it wasn't me, then I would just do something like that. You know, I just totally mess with the presets. Try to get some cool, you know, cool sort of time lapse -y thing in. And that's that's how I do my time lapses. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's how I do my time lapses. I take them, make them photos, and then I edit them. Um, and I'm gonna have to find the command. I can't remember it at this moment, which I should probably do. I'm actually gonna look that up right now, which is gonna be... So you edit one photo and like... Um, you edit one photo and and what's it called? You edit one photo and what's it called? You edit one photo and you want to spread it across all the photos, right? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> Um, what's it called? Shift click or control click windows to select. Okay, so shift and the windows key or control and windows key. Control all, control windows key. Shift control windows key. What? No, 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 no. I'm so confused. You guys, I'd say for yourselves, are gonna have to figure that out, unless, which is like, not really helping anybody. But I was really just here to show you how to make them look great. Um, so here I goes, there, go, there's another video. Hopefully this one wasn't as garbage as the last one. Um, and yeah, I wish you all farewell on your YouTube career. Um, if it is going to be your career, or if it's just going to be something you mess around with, a hobby. So, um, yeah. Um, good luck. Um, obviously, most people are going to have a better camera than me and stuff like that, so obviously. And obviously, most people are more experienced than me, so obviously they're going to do better than me. But I'm showing you a quick example of how you can actually edit your time lapses. Now, then again, if you are editing with Premiere, you can easily put you could easily just put a um, a LUT on it, which is basically just like a preset. You just put a LUT on it, and there you go. But I feel like if you're editing it through photos, you're getting just the fine details. So there you guys go, hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do wanna see more of these videos, um, it, um, you know you know what to do, you know, hit that like button. If you don't, um, don't hit the dislike button, just, just, just tell me. Um, if you guys want to see more vlogs, tell me. Um, I'm sort of out of my vlogging game at the moment cause, because sort of just... I'm out of ideas, but I have one idea that is... Um, I have one idea that I was actually given to today by someone, and I actually like the idea. So maybe I'll go through with it, you know. Hopefully it does well. Um, Maybe I'll just put it out there. So, hope you guys do enjoy. Make sure you guys check out the new videos. And, um, bye. Wait, I just realized I'm releasing merch. Go cop your merch now. It's the, it looks like this. I'm kidding. I don't have merch. I'm just so... I just want to film all day, you know? Maybe, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll go back to vlogging. Maybe I should. Remember the vlog life? What's going on, guys? Welcome back to a new vlog. And that haircut is not cutting me. What kind of photography tip should I do next? Should I actually do the long exposure stuff? Maybe I should. I was helping my mom get groceries and I, I think I left a bag out there.
that had groceries in it, and I think I forgot. So let me go get that real quick. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, bye.